How you guys doing today? This is going to be a review of Ness Bone Crusher from the Transformer Studio Series line, Buzzworthy Bumblebee. Slash customization tip. This is what the box looks like. Front of the box. Back of the box. Says in 33 steps he transforms into his cool little military vehicle mode, which is really good. I like that. Looks awesome. Cool artwork on the side. The little Autobot emblem right there. And I think for this one, he, um, I think for this one, um, he comes off as uh, an Autobot, but he's only um, being undercover as the story goes, as far as I got from it, um, that he's playing undercover and he's just lying dormant, you know, and waiting to attack, you know, the Autobots. But uh, you'll see in there on the figure in a little bit that he does have the Decepticon emblem. So let's crack it open and see what we got. So there he is. Decepticon Bone Crusher. Um, I was never here or I never did get the original one. Um, I was too late for that one. Um, but I'm glad they did do this reissue under the under the uh Buzzworthy Bumblebee line, which um is really cool. Um and I really like that they did it in a different color. Um I'm a big fan I'm a big fan of darker colors on some of these robots and I like the way it looks on him. It looks really nice. And I like that you can see, I don't know if you guys can see if I bring it up close. You can't see his eyes, but his his details on his face are pretty good. Let me see if that focuses. Yeah. Pretty good little looking uh, head sculpt right there. Um yeah, so they originally um, had done this in a different color. I think it was like a tan type of color. Um, I might be off. But um, it definitely um, is the exact same mold otherwise. Um, and as far as I know, um, the transformation and everything else is exactly the same. It's just a different color. Um, also, um, I will show you guys a little bit later in the video but um mine never transforms completely um into the car it kind of like almost like it doesn't completely just mesh together like everything doesn't click in perfectly i'll show you guys a spot where mine used to get stuck it could just be my copy um but if in ca on the off chance that it isn't um there is one thing that i did to mine to make him um you know, solidly transform into the military vehicle form, um, which is a badass um, um, vehicle from what I saw. And I think from what I heard, it's a, supposed to be a type of um, a mine scavenger type of vehicle. So that's kind of cool. So, yeah, he looks pretty cool. So yeah, let's check out the um, let's check out the articulation real quick. So um, for the head sculpt, um, it just moves left and right, left. Doesn't do any up and down. Um, yeah, just left and right, which is okay. I mean, the type of um, the type of robot this guy is he to me he's always looked like a creature type which is kind of cool so for him i don't know it's fitting for me it's, it's it works um but yeah just left and right there um there's no um waist swivel at all due to transformation which again not a bad thing um only because he did get um ankle rockers and I'm a big believer in they should at least have one or the other if they're not going to have both by now. You know, nowadays, most Transformers have swivel and rockers. But, you know, it seems like the Studio Series ones are always getting um, shafted. So, <laughs> you 
you know, we gotta, we gotta take what we can, so, um, yeah, um, the, the shoulders pretty much do, a. yeah, they do all around, you just gotta watch out for this little piece right here, this corner piece, that kind of gets in the way, you gotta wiggle it, but it does rotate all the way, um, you do, you do get a swivel at the elbow, all the way all around, the bend, elbow bend, this little piece here kind of comes off too. That's kind of cool. This makes it look like it's another extra sharp piece to make it look deadlier. I kind of like that. I really like that his hands look like claws. That's pretty cool. And uh, the claws pretty much open and close. So yeah. And then he has this little back piece here. This little shovel piece. Has a diff it has definitely a, a wide range of movement, so that's kind of cool. And as far as the legs go, he can kick up pretty much all the way up, back all the way, all the way out. He has a uh, swivel at the thigh. He has a knee bend. like that so that's pretty good and then of course he has that that ankle rocker that that goes pretty damn far which is really nice i'm a big fan of ankle rockers especially when they when they extend out pretty damn far so i like that that's that's pretty damn nice so yeah no swivel at the toe, no up and down, but the rocker, like I said, that that's good enough for me. All right. Let's check out the transformation into vehicle mode. Okay, so here we go. We're going to do look into his transformation. So first, you want to start off with the little shovel piece back here. You kind of straighten that out. And before you click it together, you rotate the little top shovel piece. Snap that together. Like that. And then you kind of let that hang to the side. Then, you're going to go to the shoulders. Rotate the shoulder. I'm going to push it up up on its shoulder like that. And it's going to pretty much fall into place. Here, let me make sure I can get a better angle. There you go. Same thing with the elbow. The elbow kind of just falls into place. Which is what I like about this guy's transformation. There you go, like so. And then you're going to pull these little flaps right here. Out, downward. And then pull and push them back up. And there's going to be little tabs right there where they connect. Okay. Once you're done with this arm like this, um, I would suggest that, you know, you turn it kind of at an angle like this so that you can allow for space here for clearance. Um, it's better if you leave it like kind of like at this angle like this out of the way So we're gonna do the same thing with the other arm Like that Same thing with the shoulder with the elbow Like that And then same thing with the flap like so Same thing, you're going to bring it out a little bit to allow for clearance. And then you can just leave them like that for now until we get back to the rest of the top part. We're going to go down to the legs now. So now the legs, you're going to move this little piece right here forward like that. And then this little back part right here, you're going to move it forward this way. So it's going to be sticking out to the side. Rinse and repeat. 
same thing with the back and then you're going to rotate these legs or this first leg um, at the thigh all the way around like that same thing with this one like so okay and then there's a little like lock right here between the uh the waist and the upper body the torso area that you're going to split so you're going to want to grab it carefully um i try to leverage it keep my fingers in the back and then leverage it with my thumb here and then here and kind of just try to put pressure till it pops i'm always very careful with my um transformers because i'm very meticulous about how i handle them i don't like to break them you know um you move these little two little hip pieces inward like that and then you're going to grab these tire pieces here that's pretty much essentially the whole leg and you're going to bring that in like that like that same thing on this side grab it from the tire it's better to grab it from the tire instead of pulling from here because i feel like you know that's not enough leverage and it could possibly break so it's better to pull it from the tire like so okay and then these this little peg right here pegs into a little piece in the foot i don't know if you can see it it's going to be a piece under here you'll see it right there tab that in like that and then you push these little knee areas here i like to call these little silver pieces kind of like the guide for my knees kind of push them in on themselves like that you'll see as they go in like that okay now it's the tricky part you're gonna have to um move this half of the body this way into this little cavity in here and the head's gonna go in there so you're gonna try to do that without scuffing the head sculpt too much at all if possible so going to pull this top part or the back part right here back forward and then as you do this you also have to make sure you rotate the shoulders pretty much the whole arms this one and this one upward at the same time You guys see? You can see the heads right there. It's going to go into the cavity. And then you tap in all this. Like so. Okay. And then you're going to see two little tabs on these little, you see these little tabs right here? They're going to go in pretty much into these little holes right there and there that one's definitely a little trickier especially when it's not completely even I like to grab these little two pieces right here and kind of like use that as a you know to wedge them straight and it kind of straightens out the whole thing the whole two of the legs connected together so and there you go and then so oh i'm sorry before i forget um so yeah whenever i transformed it into vehicle mode the these little lineups here and here would not be as lined up as they are now i don't know if you see if i can focus yeah they're not as lined up as they would be now but because i shaved down let me see if i can show you real quick i shaved down so there was a little peg right here this one right here pretty sure you can see it this one same thing on this side right here i shaved those two down because whenever you try to peg them in where they belong like they will peg in but then they make this all like bundled bun bumbled up ugh, bundled up it didn't it didn't quite fit properly so i shaved these down um you know i'm very i'm very ocd so i was very careful about it I just shaved them down enough to where these don't they weren't even necessary really like to keep the robot uh the vehicle mode intact it wasn't necessary so i feel like it works even better after i did that so 
it closes in way better for me. Okay, and then these two flaps right here. You're going to have to be careful with this little leg piece right here. Because this kind of sometimes hits that, so you kind of like have to angle it like. It's giving me a little bit of a hard time right now. There you go. Same thing on this side, and there you go. You bring these two claws down. And then you put the hood. And you close it and let it fall in, tap in. And then the shovel, kind of like, just throw it in back like this. Oh yeah, and then the last piece right here, this, you just fold it until it tabs under. Like that. Let me get a good view of that. And there you go. There he is in his vehicle mode. Um, like I said... I'm so glad I actually did not miss out on this one because um, I missed out on the first one. Um, I like it. It's awesome. Um, you know, I like the metallic on the uh, on the windows. They're blue, but they have a little metallic sheen to them, which is cool. And if you can see here, he does have the Autobot emblem right there. You know, but that's supposed to be... The story goes it's supposed to be a disguise. He's undercover. He never did it in the movie, but, um, you know, it's okay, I guess, you know. Um, but he does have here... You can see that he's true to his Decepticon ways. You'll see right here it says, All Hail Megatron. Which I thought was awesome. And the Megatron is, you know, written in letters and numbers. So that's that's pretty damn awesome. So, so yeah. There you go. Buzzworthy Bumblebee. Studio, studio Series um, Bone Crusher. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.